All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome into the Crypto Dead if you are new. We try to cover pretty much anything that's out there. Um, I'm going to start covering stocks at some point, but, you know, the economy's kind of not really good right now. Uh, and that's another point I want to make. Uh, the fact that you have the World Bank leaders calling for a mild recession next year, um, and they don't even like to utter that. So it's probably going to be worse than they want you to believe. So if they're, they're saying mild, it's probably going to be pretty bad. So uh, a lot of these things like Q&T, just any crypto, anything you're invested in, it's not going to go up, in my opinion, uh, for a while. I, I still hold on to the belief that BTC is probably going to bottom out in the springtime of next year and then just kind of go sideways at about 10K or so uh, until, you know, 2024. I really don't think we're going to have another bull run until the happening. We may have a fake bull run where we go up and then we just fall off the table completely. But just for the fact that they're calling for a mild recession and it's probably going to be worse than we want it to be next year. So I just wanted you guys that watch this channel to be aware of that. Don't buy into the clickbait. Don't buy into the video saying 10,000% gain. We're almost at the bottom. We're about to go up uh, because you got to take the whole picture, the whole world, the economy and the economies around the world. And the fact that the bank, um, Banking establishments around the world are calling for a recession. It's just that's not good news at all. So uh, here on this channel, we try to find the best possible prices to get in. So looking at QNT here, we're on the 786 support at 106. We're on the daily chart here. We're currently at 104, so we're below this, but you can see we're still holding this uptrend here. So it looks like QNT, if you pretty much lose this dollar area, dollar one, dollar two, a dollar you're going to fall down here to about 87 which would be a great price to get in because i do think that a lot of these coins and tokens we're going to have the opportunity to get in at 87 48 um i do think you're going to have great buying opportunities to come if you believe in the project and you do believe that it's going to survive this bear market so with q and t here if you just have patience this thing will come down to about 87 so 17 percent drop and then we'll just take it from there. You can see the next support is down here at 48. So, like I said, just have patience. Dollar cost average in. Just prepare yourself for that next bull run, whenever that may be. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be at the Bitcoin happening um, next or in 2024. That is. So, like I said, the chart here. We're sitting on this support at the 786. We're sitting on this uptrend. We're below all the moving averages here doesn't look great there's no strength on any of the indicators here the rsi is not looking good the macd is not looking uh, strong at all uh we're going to switch over here to the heiken ashi candles are printing red so it's trending down so like i said don't don't believe the videos that say you know a thousand percent gain soon we're almost at the bottom uh q and t is about to go up 10x or anything like that i do not I uh, want you guys to be duped like that because um, I've been there before uh, and, and we all learn together. So I uh, just want you guys to be aware that Q&T is, is holding on to this support here. So once you lose this dollar area, 87 is next and, and it's a great buying opportunity. So I'll leave it at that. So hopefully you guys get something out of the video. If you like the content, like the video. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel because we try to you know navigate this crypto journey together and get these things at cheaper prices before that next bull run like i said so yeah with that said i'll leave it at that not financial advice thanks for watching everyone peace out